All right, so here at the top right-hand corner on Daybreak, we have Mouse Thorson. He is spawning as our blue Terran player. His opponent down here at the bottom left-hand corner throwing out the HG. Have game. Have game. <laughs> it's, uh, that is true. They are having a game. Um, is Slayer's puzzle. He is our red Protoss player, and what a player. Slayer's is not messing around. They are throwing out two Code S level players and um, two players who are arguably top five of their race in the world at the moment. Yep, and, you know, Thorzane might even be on that level. I mean... He's getting there, man. Yeah, he's good. He's so good. And he finished second. I felt so bad. Second at the Dream Act Invitational. He goes through Huck. He goes through Hero. And then he has to come up against Dawn Great, who loses 3-2, to two, and it was $15,000 winner take all. He was one game away from capturing that prize after having knocked out a guy who's Code S and playing in Korea, a guy who is a Korean pro, formerly OGS, now Liquid, two O's him nonetheless, Yeah, and then comes up against Don Greku. Barely, barely misses the prize. Yeah. That sucks. It really does. That's why top-heavy tournaments, man, I mean, you got, you like... You got to take care of the players. You got to have uh, a evenly distributed prize pool. Now I don't like mind. I'm, I, I'm really not trying to pander to our own tournament when I say this, but I really like it's the awesome. way the prize structure is is done in IPLAC. I'll everyone say that is as a player. It's awesome. Yeah, everyone uh, seventeen to thirty two gets a thousand bucks, but yet the last match is still played. The difference is eighteen thousand dollars, twelve thousand for second, uh, thirty thousand for first. So yeah. it's uh, I really like the way it's done. Everyone is well rewarded. Um, you you getting thirty second in our tournament is the equivalent to making fifth place in MLG. So, just to put it in perspective, yeah, and uh, that's uh, I like that. It's not too top heavy, but there's enough of a discrepancy between first and second that it's going to be a really exciting final. Certainly, um, and and that's really the way it should be. You got to take care of the players. But uh, sucks for Thorzane when I heard about that. Yeah. Um, that's brutal, man. Those are the breaks. He is avenging himself, though, against Slayers. Took out Coca right away, and he's going to try and go against Puzzle. He's going for a no-gas-fast expand. Um, now, Daybreak, a map, you can pull this off depending on where you want to defend. If you want to defend here at the ramp, uh, one bunker or something like that is going to be sufficient to go ahead and deal with some units, although it's a long reinforcement distance with SEVs, so a lot of people will just opt to go ahead and not wall, but defend right at this position instead, well, also, where they can get SEVs down to mass repair. Also, if you defend down at the ramp, they have the option to go around yep. and uh, come Long in. Long way around, but yes. Yeah, and then you're just completely wide open. And against Protoss, I mean, they could just drop a proxy pylon back there somewhere, Certainly. and you'd run into all kinds of trouble. Uh, second racks will come down here for Thorzane. No gas just yet. It looks like he's going to oh, grab one prob oh, right wow. after the Actually, second gas. Interesting. Thought he would have done like three racks and then just double gas into MMM or something like We've that. We've been seeing but a lot of people gas earlier mm -hmm. and then add the racks, interestingly enough. Puzzle, on the other hand, he has double gas down, but uh, everything looks pretty typical for a century expand at the moment, even with the centuries coming out now. So um, not really showing any tech, but uh, he put enough gas into units that it's... Um, Going to be difficult for him to attack. He'll probably just expand and move into something after that. I agree. Uh, with the two sentries queued up and also the stalker, um, going to be saving mostly minerals here. And then uh, going to have to transition into probably a, a gateway composition is what I yeah. think we'll see out of him here early Certainly. on just to stay safe. Now, Thorzan, on the other hand, does have his first bunker up. He needs to be careful with that marine. Certainly, but uh, should be able to uh, defend against any sort of an early push, but uh, obviously we know that's not going to come out at the moment. How much scouting has either player done? Taking a look at Puzzle's vision, okay, looks like he, uh, that's odd, that looks like that's almost revealed vision at the moment, although I think it's not, so just kind of weird the way that's done. I guess that's just the light shining down. Thorzane, on the other hand, uh, he saw pretty much everything at the earlier part of the game because he was able to get in there because the Stalker was the first unit to come out, but uh, otherwise, looking pretty standard to move into a macro game. MMM versus uh, possibly Gateway Robo composition. That's weird. It actually does look like revealed territory. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's why it was the exact same color. That's what was so weird to me. So, here we have Thorzane uh, teching up off of three racks here. Yep. And he's going to get some pretty quick medevacs out. Also, early stim for him. This is weird. Because he went for that earlier gas and earlier add-ons, it actually forced him into increased unit production at the beginning. So despite the fact that he was down one racks, he actually has more units out than most people would have with three racks. And that'll probably get canceled in a second. I'm a dirty liar. It's not going to get canceled. Puzzle just wanted to uh, watch 100 minerals disappear. 
His uh, on his side of things, though, he did add racks. Or, I'm sorry, gateways two, three, and four. Um, a lot of people stop with three if they're going to go right into that uh, gateway plus um, robo composition. But it looks like he may be favoring some upgrades with as many with much gas as he had. We may see a Twilight Council soon. Hmm. He does have quite a few sentries as well. Uh, might use these for a little bit of pressure here. Yeah. Could have some four gate pressure early on in this game. Two bunkers down, four Thorzane, though, and, you know, I think he's going to have more than enough to hold this off. Scouting out with his SCV, we'll see all these Stalkers and Sentries. Has to uh, sort of know what's up here, Whoa. but the first bunker gets segmented. Uh, no SCVs will be able to repair there. All the units are probably going to get taken out, but Thorzane actually doing pretty well for himself right now, surprisingly enough. Uh, He's taken down a couple of those stalkers, but he hasn't gone after any of these very expensive sentries quite yet. And yeah. another good force field goes down, and all of a sudden, Thorsey may be in a lot of trouble uh, as stalker reinforcements are making their way up. He's forced to pull workers, uh, so Puzzle's going to pull a pretty good advantage here. He's already killed three workers, and that number will increase as he actually took out two mules as well. Missile turret is going to go down. Thorsey has a couple of units reinforcing, but oh, no. uh, Puzzle is just going to do this over and over. He may be able to take this game right now. I mean, a lot of SCVs going down here. We do have uh, the Zealot joining the mix and the Zealot's going to be really important here because he can tank so much Marauder damage. He needs some additional Zealots though. Uh, he's losing quite a few Stalkers and Sentries here. Thorzine yeah. will be able to clean this up but um, how much damage has been done? Let's see, 18, now 19, now 20 workers killed altogether. Unit stab suggests that Thorzee is down by 11 workers at the moment. Now we have those nice high HP uh, zealots that are going to be able to make their way in. A few more uh, SCVs are being pulled from the high ground. There's also a Hellion in the mix, which is nice. It's going to help against the uh, zealots. And now just a couple of stalkers are remaining, but he is continuing to do damage. Thorzee down to just 32 supply. Yeah, the Hellion's going to be nice, but... It's certainly not what he Talk needs right now. Talk about killer instinct, though. Yeah, I mean, Puzzle applying a little bit of four-gate pressure there. Saw an opportunity, just uh, blocked that bunker with uh, force fields and uh, put himself in a situation to just immediately take the game. Now, Thorzane there, uh, well, you know, it's not it's not quite over yet, but Thorzane has taken uh, irrecoverable amounts of damage, I feel like. He could push this into a longer oh, game, 15 though. 15 workers, man. He's down by 28 already. So, Puzzle, yeah, he's kind of doing what I thought he was going to do. This is going to be 6-gate. We'll probably even see 7 or 8-gate here in a second. He's going to get uh, either charge or blink, probably blink with the composition he had been favoring so far, and then just go kill his opponents. I mean, Thorzane... He, uh, like you said, could stretch this. I mean, especially if he just super turtles up right now, like three bunkers at the front, uh, a couple of supply depots mixed in there as well, so it presents less surface area, and he's able to get a few uh, SCVs behind a mass repair or something along those lines. But he is pretty far back at the moment. Yeah, and I'm sure that, I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's it's pretty much there. He is picking off these forward uh, pylons, though, so he'll be able to stave off any sort of decent pressure for a while. Actually, looks like uh, Puzzle favoring a ton of Zealots and charges coming up. So I was going to say that, but I didn't want to undercut you. No, no, you're fine, man. Charge lot's so good against Terran, man. It's yeah. It's kind of stupid. Especially with the plus one armor. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're just amazing against Marauders. They're really good against uh, Marines Temporal as well. Archives. Yeah, they're, they're just great units in general and ooh, is he gonna get this in time before the push here this is pretty much Thorzane's one opportunity he needs to make something happen here so he yeah, might have charge enough isn't done yeah charge isn't done he's got two medevacs behind this so he's gonna be able to kite those units for quite a while no oh, where's he gonna drop into the if he main. if he can take oh, oh there's a lot of zealots there as well oh. okay so may not have the potential to do damage we'll find out maybe he can make this work but he's got to take the time to set down all those units over and over and over again. And Charge the zealots is still just not buy done. so much time. Yeah, they really do. They really do. Look how long it takes to kill a single zealot. And here we go. Uh, forcing, to his credit, though, forces them into a little bit of a choke just before Charge comes out. And he actually only suffers the loss of one Marauder. He's going to focus all these other ones down as well. Um, there, finally, the Guardian Shield comes down. And that's what really makes those Charge Lots so freaking powerful. That plus two armor... Uh, very much does uh, a lot of damage against, or uh, prevents a lot of damage from Marines. Thorstein's still killing a couple of units at the front. Let's we'll see if he drops back in uh, May, but there's enough Zealots there. I think it's going to ward him away. Yeah, I think Puzzle's doing a great job holding thus far. 
Uh, Thorzane has managed to climb back a he's little bit. Workers. He's yeah. done well. Pretty impressive that he's been able to macro thus uh, so well thus far, but um, Puzzle's been teching real hard here. Yes. He does have uh, his Templar tech up. Storm is about to finish. There's no ghosts anywhere even in the near future. Nowhere in sight for Thorzane. Yeah. But uh, nonetheless, Puzzle is uh, not expanding. He's going up to, I believe this is going to be eight gates. Charge lot Archon. Oh, no, there it is. There we go. Nexus just going down as I say that. Didn't see the probe moving out. Uh, in the middle of the map, though, Puzzle tried to make his way out and just ran headlong into a ton of bio units. And Thorzane, he's going to make his way up and try and do a little bit more damage. Tries to get himself a Templar kill. Almost gets it. Not quite. Clutch force fields there, and it looks like Thorzane is going to oh, ferry his units around here to the third. Thorzane has to smell an opportunity here. I think he does. Storms are done, though, and with feedbacks, these Templar are very, very powerful. He's going to have to watch out for them. Yeah, he needs to be real careful here. Uh, is the drop in the main going to go down at the same time? Drop. The third will get canceled, so he does uh, retain some money for that. No feedbacks go down on the medevacs. Too far away. They will be able to make their way out. Now we have two headed into the main here. <sighs> oh, feedbacks. Oh, are these high energy? No, they're really not. So they're still going to be able to get down their forces. Here it comes. We'll see a feedback in just a second. Feedbacks, but it doesn't actually end up doing that much. There's a lot of bio units here. It's going to force um, more zealots out of puzzle for the time being. At the same time, uh, he's coming back in and killing off a ton of Templar. These Templar were not being controlled. Thorzen gets a ton of damage done. He's just going to pick right back up and move away. Mobius Reactor about to finish here for Thorzane. He could get out a few ghosts and try and hit a timing push here. And he's he's managed to third. He's managed to equalize the supplies as well. This is wow. unreal. I, mean, I, I gotta say, hands down, I thought Thorzane was dead, dead, dead to that four gate push. As did I. Like, like right there. I thought he was gonna be like, well, whatever, down to less than, I'm like, 15 workers now, GG, time, time to go, you know? But he has found his way back into this in a big way. He's got a nuclear missile coming up as well. Oh, yes. If he lands that, if he lands a clutch nuke and finds a way to win this game, I will declare this one of the best comebacks I've ever that seen. That is why you don't leave games too early. I yes. mean, you know, oh I, I hate oh to... Oh, Templar. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> well, Thorzane does back out of there. Yep, yep, yep. He's not going to engage in the midfield just yet. He does have the two ghosts about to pop out. Beautiful usage of the choke there. Backs out just as Storm hits. Beautiful play so far from Thorzane. Oh, kind of eats that one. Uh, dodges a little bit though, dodges an additional storm here. I think he might have enough. I don't know, oh, it's gonna be so Templar. close. He needs to get in the bunker, he doesn't have one. Oh god. Oh, that could actually end up being bad for him. Ghosts though are running through the zealots, I will admit. Um, a couple of sentries are gonna fall as well, but oh, two no. archons are added into the mix and clumped up SCVs against archons. That's hard to watch, and all of a sudden, Thorzane is back down to a pretty bad position to his credit. He has his third up and running, um, so if he takes out this attack, he'll be able to re-macro, but man, Puzzle just did a ton of damage. Two bunkers, man. Oh no, and if this Archon sees the base down at the bottom right, oh. oh he is going to have an absolute field day. Yeah, it really is. Well, these two SCVs could potentially kill him. This Archon has to be careful. Yeah. Uh, if he gets out of there with his shields, though, the shield's already regenerating. Let's hope he gets intercepted. Third SCV trying to make his way over. Oh, no. Uh, poor SCVs. And it looks like he's going to make an attack down to the bottom right. Let's actually take a look at Thorzine's infrastructure. He's got a ton of racks up. Six racks. He's on reactor starport as well. And he's got a couple of ghosts added into the mix. So he's going to need a couple of clutch EMPs. He's certainly he's not got out of this nuke 100%. As well. But, ooh, wow. If he lands down, uh, I'm just imagining a nuke right there. <laughs> just anywhere. Just, yeah, pretty much. Let's see if he can hit some EMPs here. That would be uh, huge on his part. Templar getting Lift a little bit ahead of the pack here. Yep. Uh, Templar not really going to be able to launch down their storms as well. Scan goes down. No DTs in the mix, though. No observers in the mix. And he does manage to get the mass repair down on the orbital command, so we'll continue mining there. Puzzle does not quite feel comfortable enough moving in yet. He is on 1-1 upgrades, though. Thorzane is just on 0-1. Has not been able to invest in any subsequent armor upgrades. Here it is. Puzzle looks to be making his final move. Uh, has he found a way to finally kill Thorzane? EMPs will come in and go down. Uh, didn't really hit anything there that he wanted to. The storms are going to go down on a majority of his army. The zealots are already ripping his natural apart. He's losing so many mules and SCVs. All the High Templar do get sniped. The ghosts remain alive. Wow, and these uh, zealots actually didn't engage all that well, so they're actually going to get torn up. But 
forcing just lost so many SCVs. 65 workers killed for puzzle thus far. Reactor on the starport gets killed. More workers have died in the main, and uh, puzzle knows his attack is going to get killed, but he doesn't matter. He doesn't care because he's warping in units down to the third as well. Um, the only mining, well, actually, no mining is being done at the moment because puzzle is still killing things with that cell because Thorzin is concerned about this attack here in the main. He has equalized supplies, however, and uh, did not hear any sort of nuclear launch detected, so it's not like a mass worker kill or anything along those lines. Well, dual forge now, chronoing out upgrades. We have a warp prism coming as well, so puzzle really just bringing it to Thorzin yes. here uh, from all angles, and Thorzin trying to respond, trying to accomplish what he can, but uh, Puzzle moving on to four base now. Yeah. Uh, he's been harassing the third. He's continually gone in on raiding missions on the natural where he's going to go again, it looks like, right as I say that, uh, yes, running is. a bunch of charge lots here into the natural. And this oh, is just man. throwing so many monkey wrenches into Thorzane's machinery. He's unable and to recover, really. Yeah, he's trying to take out as many units as he can. Eats the full brunt of a storm as units are running in down at the right-hand side as well. So Puzzle, his multitasking is out of this world at the moment. Killing supply depots, so Thorzane just can't produce anything else. He uh, eventually will lose all of these zealots, but once 2-2 two, two hits, he is just going to be able to produce a massive, massive number of charge lots, and uh, because of the lack of upgrades out of Thorzane, not much going to be done about that. Yeah, oh, and Ghost Academy goes down. You know, almost all these medevacs just have single units in them at this point. Thorzane uh, does have this one ball remaining, and I don't think he'll leave until uh, he's exhausted this ball's full potential. Yeah. But where can he... Uh, where can he attack? Where can he get something done? The constant harass from Puzzle is not allowing him to leave his base whatsoever. Oh, man. More charge lots are making their way in as well. Um, let's see here. Looks like... Oh! Base goes down at the 3 o'clock position as well. So the third is officially taken out. More charge lots are running in and taking out the starport. That's going to fall down momentarily. A couple of High Templar just sitting in there accumulating energy. And Thorzane says, you know what? Whatever. Let's attack. He is down by 50 workers, which actually does mean that he has a uh, advantage in terms of supply in his army, but his upgrades are far inferior to his opponent. Storms are going to do a ton of damage. Puzzle, oh man, he four may be archons. able to lock this up. He does have four Archons and Storms in the back. Nice feedback right there. And let's see if he can continue to do that or drop down a couple of storms. Nice EMP in return, so a little bit of micro wars being played. There are the storms, and there's no energy left on the medevacs. That bio is now ravaged and just waiting for these charge lots and archons to make their way down for puzzle. Here comes Thorzing, though. He stems up the ramp. Those units are in a little bit of a choke, so the Zealots have to back up at the moment, but he's losing his entire base as that happens, lifting off all of his barracks, pushes his way in, and is G and has to GG the Archons and Charge Lots, cleaning up the rest. So Slayers has won their second week here at IPL Team Arena.